What up guys, today we're at Niku Butcher Shop, one of the nicest butcher shops in SF. They have some fire here. It's not cheap at all. We're gonna go pick up some expensive steaks, expensive burgers, whatever they have, and then we're gonna cook them up. Definitely gonna go with four of the 50-50 Wagyu patties. Let me grab that for you. Sweet. This is the Wagyu that they have. They have some of the finest Wagyu in North America. Our boy here goes to Japan. How often do you go to Japan? Couple times a year. Couple if times a year. Or more. Or more yeah. possible. So he actually gets boots on the ground there and goes to these farms and gets some of the best meat that I've ever seen. But today we're gonna go with some of the normal steaks over here. This is domestic Wagyu F1, so half Japanese, half Black Angus. This is um, exclusively raised for us by the Lindsay family in Lexington, Oregon mm. at Washugu Ranch. Washugu. Yeah. Beautiful steaks. So those are filet mignon, little skewers, dipped in rendered Wagyu beef fat and steak seasoning. I mean, I think they're gonna be delicious. We'll find out. Let's season it up. What do you, what yeah, do you like to season it? With? Just our Himalayan sea salt and cracked crack pepper. Leave it Love simple. that, yeah. So the pork you do here is a pretty different. I mean, it looks different just looking at it. Like pork in a regular supermarket is like pale, it's kind of dead. So yeah, just where is the pork from? So this is all domestic Kurobota pork out of uh, Sioux City, Iowa. It was brought over from the States by Robert Wang, Taiwanese geneticist, about like 24 years ago. Wow. Um, he raises his animals but just for us. He actually smokes the bacon specifically for us. It's an uncured hickory smoke. The rule of thumb is the darker the hue, the sweeter the flavor. Okay. We also have another option. This is the Iberian, the Spanish mm. game corn fed pig from I've Spain. I've had some of that before, yeah, yeah. yeah we were, uh, guy was the first one to bring that to the States. This is not the Hamon Iberico, which everybody's used to, that, that mm, cured meats. Like this that. is the fresh product. Nice. This is the Puma. It's uh, similar to like a skirt or flank. Okay. Uh, really good on the grill or straight on the cast iron. Sweet. Stoked, yeah, it looks way different than pork. I, I'm trying to get that through to a lot of people. Like, this is what pork should look like. It could shed some color to it. It shouldn't be some, like, white meat, no. other white meat. No, exactly. You'll get all that intermuscular marbling. It's like the Wagyu of pork. So we tried the Wagyu in one of my YouTube videos. We whipped this up, and we all gave it ratings. And now today we're going to try the domestic beef from that Oregon ranch. And we're gonna kind of rate them, compare them. 100% rendered pure Japanese A5 Wagyu fat. And I know you guys like your CBD stuff, so oh, I yeah. started doing my oil slick stickers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things? Check them out. Check them out. Oh my God. Yeah. So, anyways, there you go. That's, That's amazing. You, Thank right? you so much. Man. I know you know what to do with that. Stoked, man. Thank you. Yeah. It's amazing. A5 Wagyu fat. It's gonna be delicious. This is how you make a steak. Great on everything. Yeah, great yeah. on everything. Yeah. It's amazing. And packaging glass, which I like. Yeah, man, me too. And that's the other thing too with these, you know, they're recyclable. So the next time you come in, if you drop it off with me, the next time we're doing some fat, Fill it up. I'll put it in there and we'll, we'll go from there. We just spent like 300 plus dollars on meat and we're gonna go whip this stuff up. It's gonna be really good. This is some of the finest steak in North America. So let's get to cooking and eating. All right, guys, this is our haul from Niku, and we're gonna whip this stuff up right now. We got the fillet skewers, and remember, those were um, like covered in rendered beef tallow, so we're gonna cook those up, and we're gonna grill these, and we're gonna grill these beef patties as well, which is a 50-50 blend of Wagyu beef with regular beef, and, you know, not even regular beef, like this is some high-end shit. So we're gonna grill these, let's go put these on the grill, and then we'll come back and cook this New York strip, which looks so good, like the marbling on here is just insane. So we'll cook that on the cast iron, we'll get that a little bit of a butter base with some garlic, and yeah, let's go whip it up. Keeping it really simple with these, just a little bit of salt, and some cracked black pepper is all we're gonna do. because the flavor of the beef here is so good. We really don't need to bury it with spices and seasonings. Just a little bit of salt and pepper is really all you need. One thing I'm gonna do on this grill before I actually grill here, I'm just gonna get a paper towel with some of that rendered Wagyu beef tallow and just rub it on here. It makes the grill sort of non-stick. So let's do that right now. Wow, these are gonna be so good. You can see the beef tallow on there, and I mean, these are just gonna be so like, just like juicy. And let's throw these burgers on. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Burger a day keeps the doctor away. Wow, the burgers are pretty, like, soft. I think it's all that Wagyu fat in there. This is what we've whipped up. I think if we put a little Dijon mustard right here, we can dive in. And, yeah, we got to figure out a way where you can set that camera because you're going to be diving in with me here. And, yeah, let's enjoy some of this beautiful Wagyu beef. Dog's excited. All right, one bite review. I'm going to try the, the skewer first. Wait, you're only taking one bite? Mmm. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Wow. Whoa. Dude, this is juicy. Mm -hmm. These weren't that expensive. Really? Yeah. Like, they're a few bucks per patty. We should do, like, an In-N-Out protein-style recreation with these as the patties. I think that'd be fire. A meatloaf made out of this would be really good. What's in a meatloaf? <laughs> Meatloaf's not really like, I, would, I wouldn't say it's like very like popular right now. Why? Mom's well, just meatloaf? I don't see people like, oh, we're, today we're making meatloaf. <laughs> meatloaf never goes out of style, I'll tell you that. Santa Cruz Paleo Meatloaf coming to Amazon. This is really good. Juicy, soft, and the flavor is crazy. The mustard almost ruins it. Yeah, I'm not using too much mustard. It's like, you don't need it. It has a lot of flavor. Rating out of 10 on the Wagyu 5050 burgers and the filet mignon Wagyu skewers. What do you give it? The Wagyu skewers? Mm. <laughs> you don't like them? <laughs> you okay? Okay, yeah. I don't know, it's a tough rating. <laughs> Guys, Joe does a lot of drugs. We've been trying to help him out. We've been trying, sincerely, and I appreciate all your donations. <laughs> And all of your concerns, sincere concerns. You've concern been taking money from people? people for this? Yeah, we've been helping you out. Nobody's been helping I've been, me out. I've been giving you all types of supplements. You drugs. said you've been like stabbing me in the middle of the night with like. Injections to help you. How much does that cost? It's a lot of money. Okay, so. It's a number one out of ten, you know. The second piece was much better than the first. I'm gonna say that. Okay. Better than, hey, better than the Beyond Sausage Challenge. Oh yeah, this is much much better than Beyond Sausage Challenge. This isn't a challenge. No. This is more of like a reward. This is a reward. Mm. It's like a reward. 6.7. Okay. Because Bur it's filet mignon, it's going to get a high rating. Burger rating? I mean, just on the meat, it's got to be like, no. Mm. no. 9.2? Yeah. Well, yeah. 9.2, 9 9 yeah. Okay. It's very similar to what I'm going to say. I'm going to say on these little filet skewers, Absolutely amazing, don't get me wrong, but I would go with a 6 out of 10. And we're just rating the meat here, obviously, guys. You could serve this with some rice. You could, you know, make this into a beautiful dish. But just the meat, 6 out of 10. Burgers, 9.5 out of 10 on the meat. These are so good. Like, I can't explain. They, like, fall apart with the fork. And I, I, I overcooked them a little bit. What was the mix? Was it 80-20? 50-50 Wagyu. It's like Wagyu and then like normal beef. So it's like that really like, you couldn't, you wouldn't want a burger, just Wagyu beef. Mm. So I think he mixes it with like normal, you know, ground chuck or whatever. I felt rushed in there. I was like fucking panicking with the camera. I was like, I'm zoomed in, I'm zoomed in, you know? Yeah, you were very zoomed in. I haven't done enough testing yet, you know? I, took I it thought to you like tested a, it in Tahoe. I took it to like a you casino. Said, but, I think a direct quote I have from you on the phone is, dude, this camera's dialed in. I've figured it out. You said that. I did say that, yeah. I think, yeah. I figured out, dude, I've just been messing around with it. I figured it out. We're ready to go. Well, the camera, I figured out the mics, on the other hand, haven't quite... The mic is that. good. You forgot this mic. Mm. You showed up and you said, it's by my bedside. And we're <laughs> yeah, 30 yeah. minutes away. Well, that's not dialed in, is it? Joe spent an immense <laughs> amount of the company's revenue on this camera. I spent a lot of we my We spent money, all our honestly. money on this beef. We're going under. <laughs> Pretty good our day. tax lady is going to kill us. <laughs> yeah. Next year, though. And go get you some 50-50 Wagyu burgers. If you go to Niku Steakhouse or Niku Butcher Shop in SF, mention Santa Cruz Medicinals. The guy there will hook you up. Maybe he won't, but he might. So, yeah, we're going to finish this. Peace. 
matchstick out. There's not much left to finish. Yeah.